Uh, hi, my name is Isaac. I'm a believer in Jesus Christ. Um, I'm celebrating recovery from, from pornography addiction and, um, and related things. I don't know, I, 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 the way it happened was more like, uh, I think I, I cried out to God and said, like, God, look, I, I, can, I cannot, I'm, I like this and I'm not going to stop. And so if you want to do something about it, do something. And I, 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 I just, I'm not, I'm not going to do anything. <laughs> uh, and it's, um, and he took it, he, t- he took that as a, as a, as a, it's a good thing somehow, like like saying, um, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna do something about it. And he started putting in my heart things like uh, I don't know, like I, I didn't. It, it turned from from being my friend, the addiction, from being my my uh, companion and something I liked. It started becoming my enemy and started realizing that uh, it, it, it 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 depressed me that it made. Uh, my, 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 my brokenness bigger, I made my anger bigger. It, it, I started feeling the darkness very dense in my heart. Um, I think at a point, uh, I, I, I started, I, I, after I, every time I, I, I felt, I, I would cry. I would cry out to God. And, uh, and it was very honest and sincere. I would, I would just cry to God. I, like the spirit of Him in me would, I would hurt that spirit and it would. Like it, I would cry and I and I would help me and and I start now saying help me help me and I need help and and then realizing that the only one that could help me was God like um, and then I learned that I couldn't do it on my own that I needed help that I needed people to to be there for me one day I was I was with my wife having lunch having lunch and and she went to the to, to this place and immediately came back and, and she said, hey, look, at, there's there's somebody with a, a sign that says free prayer and he looks like he's one of us. Maybe he can help us. And I say, yeah, sure, let's go. Let's let's, let's meet this guy. And uh, and sure enough, I see him and I give him a, a, my, my telephone and a little paper and told him like, I, you know, I have something private to tell you. Like, would you call me? And he, he did call me, we met. He introduced me to, he said, we have a program here, it says, it's called Celebrate Recovery. He introduced me to Sean, to the leader of the group. And and, um, and I've been there ever since. And uh, I, uh, it's funny because I, I think I arrived in July and, and or June. And in and, and September, they had a, a retreat. Um, and there's a, a neat story about that, like uh, when we were going to to the retreat, uh, like everyone was signing his name. We didn't know each other, and uh, and we were just writing down our names, and um, and it felt like you were saying, like, uh, here, my name is Isaac. Uh, I have issues. No, I'm a sinner. <laughs> and after everyone signed up, it felt like, like at the end, <laughs> uh, Jesus came and, and signed up his name, and he said, like, I'm coming to, I'm gonna meet this guy. Huh. Yeah, it was very good, and and he did meet us there, and 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 I have my uh, a journal where I have all the all the the times I thought I was like, okay, this is the last time, this is the last time, this is the date where this is the last time, and I have like a huge list of of dates that that they never were the last time, and <laughs> but when he came in and told this. He, uh, yeah, and then I, I finally wrote a date after knowing I haven't seen anything after that date. And uh, and the way it worked was that uh, I thought, you know, I'm gonna fail any any minute now, like perhaps in, in the next two days I'm gonna fall. Or then a week went by and then I said, okay, uh, I think any minute now, and then three weeks, and I say, oh, "Wow, this is strange." And then a month, and they say, "Like, this is really strange." And then three months, and I say, like, "Do you think this is it?" And and now I've been, <laughs> yeah, almost two years free from from watching pornography. And it's a miracle because I didn't do anything. Like he he removed this thing from my heart, 
and uh, uh, the other day I spent two, two weeks alone mm, my wife went went to visit family and not not once not once did cross my heart to to watch any of that it's a miracle what well, the way we, we we put it is uh it's like the way he told Marta and Marta he said you should have been here you should have been here and said like uh, and he told them to remove the stones and said like oh but uh He's like, that's not going to work, and said, like, Martha, come and I tell you to believe I am the resurrection. And, uh, and they moved the stone, and, and he made the miracle on raising, raising up Lazarus from the dead. So, sort of where recovery and everything, it's like friends helping you remove stones. But it's Jesus Christ who makes a miracle of, you know, of raising that man dead. Oh, yeah, so... I would want to invite everyone who's um, who has a hurt, a hang-up, or a habit. Uh, that's probably all of us. Uh, to come to celebrate recovery and uh, and you know find help for people to remove those stones, help you move those stones, and um, and to see the miracle happening in your life. Uh, and see, you know, Jesus Christ do a miracle in your life, that, that would be, yeah, awesome.